coach, I uh, haven't seen you since that uh, the performance uh, in uh, Sacramento. So thoughts after your uh, first competitive uh, regatta of the season? You know, we, I think the results were very mixed for us. I think for our, our women's novice program, our expectations were a little bit higher. And, um, you know, of course, for the events that counted the, the ranking events, um, we, we finished in front of UCSD. Um, and I know in talking with uh, Colin Truex from UCSD, they were very disappointed in their performance. Uh, they ended up pulling one of their, their key players out of the lineup the night before due to bronchitis. So um, we, we had an opportunity to look at the, the video of the last 500 meters and we, we saw some technical flaws that at least gave us hope that we can find more speed in, in the women's varsity events. The novice, you know, first, you know, as a walk-on sport first event, I'm not sure there's anything that we can do to prepare them for that first race. And, but you know, the competition's pretty stiff at the SAC invite, division one, two, and three across the board. And with uh, division one going to automatic qualifiers, um, really the bar has been set higher across the board. So I think, you know, our goal at least for the women's varsity eight was to finish sub seven and and we did that we were very thrilled to do that and um, we worked very hard to do that um, coming into this regatta and a uh, very compressed schedule this year so we don't have a lot of time between now and some of those qualifying regattas to get to nationals we're, we're talking maybe 28 days and so the push is to find more speed um, is it new you guys watching video your guys itself to improve or is that something you guys have always used just to kind of see what's working what's not working boy if we could have video all the time um, it would it would be like watching game film um, for other sports but it's just impossible we're just lucky enough that one of the student athletes parents um, brought out his tripod his camera and um, was at least able to get those last uh, last 500 meters which you know is is, is giving us a general idea of of, of what's been going on for the prior 1500 meters. See if it's in the budget for next. Yeah. <laughs> uh, th this week, kind of talk about what you guys are doing uh, this weekend going up to Tacoma or up, up to Washington? To, Tacoma this weekend is um, the first time we're going to face off with Western Washington. I know that they got blown out last week, so you know we know they're going to be fast. And um, you know this week was really about uh, working on some of those technical flaws, um, but. We've had a, a bit of a hiccup in our ability to be on the water this week. Uh, there's uh, construction that's happening outside of the boathouse, which doesn't allow us to take our equipment in or out. And uh, so we are on land-based training this week. So it's, uh, it's not how I foresaw going into this big um, match with Western Washington. Um, we were really looking forward to just really focusing on some good technique and that's now it's gonna have to wait just really hope for the best that you know the, the types of training that we're doing on land at least will help us gain a little bit of speed. Not be able to train on the water, you guys be able to leave early at all this week to kind of get some extra time in up, up north or is this basically the same schedule? And this, is, this is going to be one of those toughest trips of the season you know it's that 12-hour bus ride so we're already missing some classes on Thursday to bus up there. Um, traditionally we have never done well at this regatta in I, I just don't think any of us, even though we're a sport where we sit, um, sitting on a bus for 12 hours just really um, is not a good body position to be in. So when, when they come off that bus, they always look like maybe they've been um, like in a suitcase. And so our, our goal would be just to have some good performances this weekend. And then, you know, really spend a lot of time working on the te technical aspects. Next week, of course, if all goes well, in the construction outside of the boathouse. Otherwise, we're going to find ourselves staging out of the dirt field. And uh, we just didn't feel like we could do that um, this week. Just uh, a lot of characters on the waterfront um, just to leave the boats laying around.